welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be giving you a crash course on integration. So integration is basically the opposite of a derivative. First of all, for a notation for integration, it looks like this. We take, it's this symbol, and then we have some function f of x, dx. There's always a dx at the end. And there is what is called a definite integral. So it's this integration sign, an integral, but there are values a and b at the top. And this means that we are integrating from A to B. It always goes from bottom to top, A to B. So in the same way that derivatives have many different rules to find a derivative of a function, uh, integration is the same way. So say we wanted to take the integral of A x to the n dx. This is then equal to so if you take the opposite, so if you remember for the product rule for derivatives, we multiply by the exponent and subtract one in the exponent. So we're going to first add one in the exponent and then divide by that value. So we will have a divided by n plus one, x to the n plus one plus C. And now this C represents a constant because if we take the derivative of this function, this C will become zero and so it won't show up over here. So we always need to add C in case there is a constant at the end that we just don't know of because the derivative gets rid of it. So for example, if we take the indefinite integral of 6x squared dx, we get 2x to the third plus c. So remember we first add 1 to the exponent, we leave it there, so it becomes 3, and then we divide by 3 to get 2, and we always add c. Now if we wanted to take the definite integral of this function, let's say from 0 to 2, what we do is we integrate it like we did here. We don't need the c anymore. And we leave this right here, 2x cubed. And we're going to evaluate it from x equals 0 to x equals 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the top number minus the bottom number. So this becomes 2 times 2 cubed, which is 8 minus 2 times 0 cubed, which is 2 times 0, which is 0, and so then this is equal to 16. All right, next up we're going to look at natural log of x and e to the x in integration. So the integral of 1 over x dx is equal to natural log of x plus c, and the integral of e to the x dx is equal to e to the x plus c. So there are some integrals that we can't just solve the way we did with this other one by looking at it. We have to use u substitution in order to solve it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the two different parts of this equation. We're going to have this part and this part, and we're going to assign them one of them to the variable u. Now, knowing which one to assign as u kind of just comes with practice, but for this one I see that this inside value here, our x cubed plus 4, the exponent here is greater than this exponent, so we're going to assign this one as our u value. So we're going to say u is equal to x cubed plus 4, and then we're going to take the derivative of that. So then our du is equal to 3x squared dx. And then we see this x squared and this dx in our equation right here. So we want to get those two values by itself, which then means that 1 third du is equal to x squared dx. And so then we can just plug in this value here for these two and our u in for this equation. So what we are left with, let me plug everything in, 
we have, let's do our U first. This is going to be U to the fifth times our one third DU. And then we can integrate this like normal. Let me move some stuff around so it's a little clearer. Then when we integrate like normal, we get 1 18th u to the 6th plus c. And then finally, we want to put everything back into x. So we plug our u back in to this u, and we get that it's 1 18th times x cubed plus 4 plus c. And there's our solution. So to solve a definite integral this way, there are two things that you can do. So if we wanted to find the definite integral of this function, let's say from zero to three, there are two things that we can do. The first is that when we transform into our u equation, we plug in these numbers into u and put them on this, so we can solve it that way. So that means that zero becomes four and three becomes 31. Let me leave that here. That means that when we solve for this, we solve for u equals four to u equals 31. And we could leave it right there. The other option is that we don't go through and switch to the u values. Instead, we just leave them the same. We transform it back to here at the end. We solve for x equals zero to x equals three. And this is just preference because either way at the end, you're going to end up with the same number. I personally prefer it this way because it means less plugging in numbers here and you don't have to worry about transforming in it into you. You just have to do the u substitution, put it all back together at the end, and plug in the original numbers. For me, it makes it a lot more simplified. Thank you so much for watching. This has actually been part of my final project for my math degree. Um, if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them in the comments below. Once again, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.